Welcome guys. So today I'm going to discuss how I ended up in Paraguay. So I moved originally from Canada. I left Canada in 2020. So this was right during the pandemic. Um, I moved in October from Canada to Panama. This was kind of like the first like permanent move I did actually leaving Canada for good. Now, um, the reason we were able to move to Panama at the time was because we already had our permanent residence. Now, if we didn't have this, we still could have entered the country. Yes, but we wouldn't be allowed to stay beyond, I'm not sure whether it was 90 days or 180 days. So you can, you can go and move to another country, but you can only stay there for a certain amount of time as a tourist. And in certain circumstances, such as during the pandemic, there was only limited um, countries that you could actually go to as a tourist. So this is where it's important to plan ahead these things. You know, if you, if you think that you might want to move to a different country, it's a best practice really to go ahead and get the residency, even if you're not thinking of moving there for two years, three years, even 10 years, it's good to plan ahead. Um, so this is what we did. Uh, I had my residency since 2017, 2016, I believe, and then finally didn't really use it, actually living in Panama until 2020. So that's, uh, five years ahead, but really for us, it took, we started a process in Panama um, way before that. So it was really like a 10 years before starting the process and then finally um, moving there and living there and, and taking full advantage of having that residency. Now, after living in Panama for a while, I then moved to Colombia and Colombia has some benefits, you know, it's uh, not quite as expensive as as Panama, also there's more younger uh, foreigners that live there. It's a bigger country, more more things going on there. So I was living there for a while, but I was living there as a tourist. And as I was mentioning earlier, the problem with that is you can only spend so much time. So I would I would go to Colombia and then I'd have a trip and then I'd come back, but I was really limited the amount of time I could spend. So. Then when it came to this year, this is, I actually have only been living here in Paraguay for three months now. Um, but last year I came here for the first time and I came here to get the residency. Now, because of the story I already told you about how we left Canada and moved to Panama, I realized how important it was to have additional options, to have additional residencies. So last year I found out from uh, a very good contact, he told me about this opportunity to get the residency in Paraguay. And so the process that I did is I put $5,000 into the uh, local bank, waited for um, all the documents to go through for that process to be finished. And then I took the cash out and I was granted with a permanent residency. So this is permanent, I never have to renew it. I just have to, you know, come back here a, a few times and get my cedula, which is like your um, your residency card. And with that, you can do basically everything. You can open up a bank account, you can rent an apartment, you can get the driver's license, all these things. So it was pretty simple, the process. So basically I, I had, yeah, $5,000, it was, uh, you, I took US dollars and then it was converted into Guarani, the local currency. And then um, it was the money that was deposited was in Guarani. Then later after I took it out, I converted it back. And then beyond that, I just needed a criminal background check and a birth certificate. And they both needed to be legalized for Paraguay. So after getting the documents, it was a couple steps more to get it legalized so that the country of Paraguay would accept it. And um, yeah, in total, for me, it took about six months, which isn't really the fastest, but fortunately I did get the permanent residency right before that program ended. And uh, only by three weeks. So I was three weeks before the deadline, uh, which they didn't announce. It just one day that you could get residency and get to permanent residency. And then the next day you couldn't anymore. So no one knew, like it was a big surprise. Uh, for a lot of people, they were planning on coming here, getting permanent residency. 
Now, what you can do today is you can still get a residency. It just ends up that it's a temporary residency and which can later be converted into permanent residency. Now, if I, if, if I wasn't already a um, permanent resident and I was still interested in coming to Paraguay, I would still go ahead and, and do that. I think it's still a very valuable thing to have. Um, also, one of the big benefits that having the Paraguayan uh, residency allows you is you can travel freely through a lot of the countries in South America. So you can travel across to Brazil, to Argentina, Uruguay, and several other countries within uh, South America with just using your residency card. So it just gives some additional flexibility. Um, as a Canadian, you know, I, I have basically visa-free access to all these countries anyhow. But um, it's nice to have another, another document that I can use and enter countries. So that's basically my story of how I ended up getting the residency. And, um, and it's because of the residency really that I'm living here. I've been here three months now and I don't have to worry now about crossing the border and coming back or um, deciding if I'm going to move to another country, go back to go back somewhere I've already lived or find a new place. You know, I'm here and I can stay here as long as I want permanent resident. I can, I never have to leave if I don't want. And so it's a, it's a very nice thing to have. And I'm super grateful to have this. And anyway, if, if anyone is interested and wants more information, um, I can also help you personally get the residency, just feel free to write an email down below and uh, let me know if you guys have any more questions about Paraguay or, or about uh, anything that I discussed in this video and uh, take care.